Good evening folks, uh, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, what in my opinion is one of the most important tools you can have uh, as an electronics engineer or electronics hobbyist and that's a good set of wire strippers. Um, now we, obviously as hobbyists we use wire strippers all the time um, you know, for, for various things, hooking up PCBs and, and various components and stuff and um, yeah there's, there's various types out there um, and a lot of them are absolute rubbish. Um, such as this type of thing here with a sliding adjustment knob um, these which uh, are utterly useless uh, if you're buying a really cheap set and uh, this kind of thing here the little adjustment screw uh, they're all right for one or two jobs but yeah these in fact these this particular model the draper version of this uh, gun type one uh, is a particularly rubbish um, i had a set of these and they lasted about you know a couple of projects worth you know maybe strip 20 wires or uh, you know in total and it just failed just locked up absolute rubbish um but yeah there's various types available um you just need to go to google image you know these types of things um various different shapes and sizes and types and you know the way they operate but ultimately um the job is to strip the um insulation uh you know from a conductor and um yeah that said all of those uh particular ones i showed you there are clearly more preferable than maybe which tempted to do is using a, an exacto knife or a sharp knife uh, to cut your insulation uh, because um as you can see when you cut through half the conductors get uh left in the the bit you've cut off there um and of clear you can injure yourself that that's not why I've got a plaster on here, I must say. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you you could take your insulation off using that uh, procedure, but clearly, um, you know, that is going to carry sort of half the current. It's designed to at that uh, point. It's going to be inserted into a you know terminal block or soldered onto a PCB, and depending on your project, that could obviously be fairly dangerous and could be a a, a point of failure. Um, so I thought I'd show you um, the wire strippers I use um, and they're particularly good ones um, it's these uh, FACOM or FACOM um, 162 PBs so this is the box coming uh, this is available from RS Components you'll be familiar with the uh, yellow and black label 3072064 is uh, their catalogue number uh, inside we get our instructions and uh, I'll sh show you the actual um, strippers themselves. So there we go. As you can see, quite nice quality cast aluminium. Um, you know, th these are an engineered product. You know, quite I wouldn't say precision, but uh, yeah, they they're a nicely designed product. Even down to this uh, nice machined, uh, it's a ball joint if you like, as part of the mechanism that makes this operate. Uh, so I'll actually show you, uh, without using a wire, how it actually works. Um, we've got a couple of sets of blades, if I just uh, grab a pen here. Uh, these uh, these blades here, so you can just see them recessed in there. These blades here trim off the excess, um, excess uh, wire or cable. Um, these blades here with this... Uh, notch out of them that's the one that actually uh, cuts the insulation but doesn't go through the conductor and they basically the grips in here the serrated areas uh, and this uh, black black part here pressing against here is what grips the insulation so it's quite nice that this is smooth uh, it doesn't actually damage the insulation as part of the the procedure so using my little piece of standard uh, 13 amp cable i just take the took this out um uh, it was an old PC, you know, an IEC connector, sort of mains lead that you'd use to hook up a computer. I just stripped back the black PVC and, and took this out. But we can see, in fact, we use the end we've just trimmed, so hopefully you can see how thin that is. If I just uh, put it on there for comparison. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put the, the wire in here and uh, I'll show you in action. So as you can see, it clamps it here uh, first and you can see the two blades now coming in to cut this uh, excess off. There we go. Now, once that's popped and cut it, these two blades come in here and are now um, 
cutting through the insulation and they won't uh, go right through because the um, uh, locking jaws here on the insulation is essentially uh, uh, um, adjusting those two cutting blades so basically once there's enough pressure and it knows it's got a good hold it knows essentially that it's cut through insulation I say knows it's not obviously <laughs> It's not a thing, a living thing or sensors or anything. It's just purely by the, the pressure and the physics of the where the jaws are that the the, uh, the pressure will then open these jaws up. And if I just give it a gentle squeeze, you'll see it pops off. And there we've got one nice, nicely cut um, uh, and, and uh, stripped conductor. And if we just compare those two now, you can see why this does a far better job than you could do with a, a Stanley knife or whatever. So in a, sort of real time use and how you'd use it, so why goes in, squeeze the trigger or squeeze the handles every time, you know, a nice clean, uh, nice clean job. We can adjust the, um, the jaws on this slightly as well, you know, well, fairly fairly wide uh, that would be a starting position and um, you know because if obviously if you've got a bigger uh, a bigger uh, terminal that this is going into you might want a bit more conductor shown and this is obviously the extreme and you can see how much that's taken off there again nice and cleanly so that's perfect for just uh, doubling over um, to get into a bigger terminal as you can see there oh, sorry right um this will do um, smaller diameter. Now the, as it says there, it does from 0.4 to 4 millimeters square uh, conductors. Um, this is clearly a bit smaller, but you can still use it for that. The only thing you've got to do is, is basically hold the the wire uh, between your fingers, uh, between your finger and your thumb, and basically using the side of your finger, just rest that on the black part of the uh, the stripper, like so. So that's butted up against, and uh, once it closes, just hold on tight to your conductor, and it does strip it um, quite well. In fact, I'll do that. That's where uh, there was a little. Notice there was a a hole in the insulation, but that's when I was cutting this out the uh, the sleeving of the. Uh, what do you call it? I, yeah, it's just a LAN cable. So it was a six core cable, and when I was stripping off the external. Uh, insulation had cut through it cuts through it there so i just wanted to show you that it wasn't this damaging it so yeah again just butt your finger up against squeeze it and then it comes off quite nicely just like that on to some heavier wire then <coughs> you know well heavier insulation don't know about heavier wire but this is just the uh, speaker cable and um, as you can see nice clean job again and you can do two at once it tends to work not too bad this might be slightly too big for it we'll give it a go yeah not too bad not too bad at all just do that again yeah not a perfect job but that's clearly uh, acceptable um you know clearly an acceptable job and uh yeah, makes life a lot easier. Really good, really good quality. And like I say, essential to have something. Um, if you're doing a lot of stuff, you know, having good tools is obviously going to make your, your life a lot easier. Now, as to cost, um, these are particularly expensive uh, from RS Components using that uh, stock number. You're looking at £85, including VAT, uh, plus you then have the delivery on top of that. Um, you might be able to get them cheaper and it will be uh, it will not be surprising uh, to know that I did not pay £85 for these um, I think I mentioned it in one of my other I think it was the electronics component uh, unboxing video I did on eBay um, if you look about on eBay uh, ending soonest and going to various categories um, you know if somebody's uh, miss, uh, miss advertise, not miss advertise, but if somebody's had a, a poorly worded uh, description of an item that they're selling, you can sometimes uh, 
you know pick up a bargain for instance if you search for facom wire strippers on ebay you're looking at you know 50 60 pounds second hand something like that but when the seller advertises his listing and the only word that's in the title description is tools that's when you're going to pick up a bargain and that's exactly what i did i managed to get uh, these really good quality strippers um, i got a set of a uh, fairly good quality screwdrivers brand new in the box and a pair of 3m uh, safety goggles that you'd you know safety glasses that you'd use if you're using a pillar drill or something like that to stop getting a swath or whatever in your eye um, i got the lot including delivery for wait for it four pounds <laughs> fifty unbelievable so yeah it does pay to have a look about on ebay and search those listings uh filtering by ending soonest because you do get bargains and this is probably one of my best bargains really superb quality tool um and i cannot recommend this uh, particular model highly enough um yeah so i hope you guys found that interesting uh like i say i think it's very important for you to have uh, a good set of strippers in your toolkit and uh, as always you know as i say in some of my videos you know always buy the best tools you can afford um because they'll the, you know they'll last you uh, and they're an investment you know even to buy these at 85 pounds they will last you for the rest of your life they will never fail um, and if they do they've got a super warranty but by the time you've bought three or four cheap sets of draper ones or various other you know manufacturers whatever your choice is and um, by the time those have broken you've had to replace them two or three times you know you could have just bought a decent set in the first place Anyway, that's my thoughts on the matter. If you agree, please comment. If you don't agree, please comment. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to subscribe, please do so. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.